you have an item that's blocked on Amazon? We'll be talking about that today and what you need to do about it to get it fixed. This is the My Amazon Guy show. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. We're a full service uh, Amazon agency. And so in this screenshot, you can see here on the left, these are items that are blocked and they've got a little yellow symbol. This is something you're not gonna find in any single form or any help page on Amazon. If you see it as yellow, that's a good sign. If you see it as red, that's a bad sign. If it's red, that means Amazon has physically removed your item from the Amazon catalog. And the process to get the item fixed or unblocked is way more difficult if it's in red. In this case, the screenshot you can see here, it's in yellow which means it's much easier to troubleshoot. And it means that Amazon has blocked the item, but for a reason that you can fix on your side. Now, in this particular issue, um, I've been working on trying to fix it in the last 24 hours. I was able to get the yellow flag removed. You can see that right here. However, um, when you go to the live detail page or go to the stranded inventory, I'm gonna show you that here. You see the stranded inventory. These two items are still in stranded and they say, please review for quality issue. So uh, the next step to try and fix that uh, would be to try and hit edit on the listing. And after you hit edit on the listing, you see if there's any flags, vital info offer, no flags across anywhere there. So simply just saving the item should, in some instances, fix it. However, I've already tried that as well, and it still hasn't cleared it. Even with the yellow flag and the block gone, it's still stuck and stranded. So the next step, um, and you can see here on the live detail page, says currently unavailable. So the next step to try and fix this is to file a ticket. So we've already tried to hit the, um, on the, on the stranded page, we already tried to hit edit listing. We looked at the stranded reason and we already tried to hit edit and save and none of that fixed it even though the block went away. So the next step is to file a ticket with Amazon. And so to do that, you hit top right, go to help and you get support selling on Amazon. When you're on this page, sometimes the drop downs here shift a lot. The UI changes quite a bit. Don't be alarmed by that. There's still an easy way to get to where you need to go. Um, when it comes to any sort of block issue, when you have FBA inventory, it's usually best to hit a fulfilled by Amazon uh, ticket. And I like to you generally use the investigate other FBA issue and stranded inventory. Now we select this, it's gonna put us through another uh, tutorial to try and fix it on our side. I only see this working about one out of every 10 attempts. So that's kind of annoying, a little bit of a waste of time. Um, but you know, when you got an item that's not sellable and you have inventory, it's totally worth going through these issues. I have a, a hierarchy of needs when it comes to Amazon, kind of your Pavlo of Amazon, if you will. And, and what I tell my employees to do when they're working on things with Amazon is that they, they need to work in a priority of order. And at the very top of that order is stranded inventory. It is bar none the most important thing that you can do to fix to get sales going is to make sure your product is active on Amazon. The second is make sure it's stocked. So shipment creation and uh, making sure things are stocked are number two on the Pavlo of Amazon, if you will. And then after that, it's advertising and traffic and sales generation and loading new product and the list kind of goes on from there and all the way down to sourcing new product. All right, so we ran this tool. What issues can we help with? It said no FBA inventory for sale. Um, so in this particular case, perhaps the block is fixed, but the, uh, the inventory, because it's so low, there's only one in stock at the moment, and tons have been shipped, and that could potentially be why it's not showing available. So there may actually be nothing to fix in this particular instance. It's kind of a weird use case where they had a block on there. There's supposed to be one in stock, says one available, but when you go to it, it says currently unavailable. And when you go to the Frick Stranded page, it's still showing up there. So clearly, I think that the ticketing system is a little off when it says no FBA inventory for sale, because clearly there is one for sale and it's stuck in Stranded. So there is some issue. So the next step would be to hit contact us and basically, in here, I you know since I work on you know 100 different accounts, I always put the uh, brand name I'm working for and the contact reason, and I'll say here, hi, this item is stuck in stranded. 
uh, I was able to remove the yellow flag block, but it's still stuck. Please fix on your end and make the listing go live. There is an active inventory count available. All right, so and make sure you grab that ASIN, of course, and we're going to go to the two ASINs. So I'm going to put a ticket in for both of these. So two ASINs, this affects. Grab that second one. I'm going to put them in here as well. Okay, scroll down, hit send. So generally speaking, stranded event tickets are very quick for Amazon to respond to. Um, so it's generally very quick response that we get when issues like this occur, usually same day type responses. Now, if you file this ticket and they give you a bogus response, which is very common, unfortunately, uh, then what I recommend you do is not to reopen the case. I recommend you file a brand new one. And you could even copy and paste your previous ticket and go over and file it as a new one. That's fine. Um, generally speaking, opening a new ticket is faster when it comes to common issues like this one. However, if it's a super complex issue where you're asking for like, say, I don't know, $5,000 reimbursement for a charge showed up on your account that shouldn't have been there or something similar and outrageous like that, then opening new tickets is not the way to go, but instead reopening the current ticket when you get that bogus response and trying to press the issues better because then you have a much broader history because those kinds of issues take months to fix instead of hours like this one. If you got an issue like stranded inventory, you want to shotgun that one as much as you can, file a bunch of different tickets, and get it out the door. All right, so that's that's how you fix uh, blocked inventory. If you have a that's for yellow flag inventory. If you have a red flag issue, there's a whole different process on that, and you're going to need to absolutely provide usually um, some documentation to Amazon because they blocked it for a more formal or egregious reason. Maybe you've got an ingredient in your in your supplements that's got a problem with Amazon. Um, or a keyword they didn't like or something like that. And you'll have to usually provide a, um, an, a COA or an SDS sheet uh, to get that fixed uh, and then send an email in um, to Amazon. I'll put a link in my description for, for the red block issues for a, a very different tutorial on how to go in and solve that. If you need any Amazon consulting, please consider hiring us. You can even hire me for a single book, book a session coaching call for 125 bucks. Just go over to my website. You got my calendar right here where you can pick a time and select it and we got lots of positive reviews from that um, also feel free to leave a comment in the video description if you have any issues that you're getting plagued with right now on amazon we'll shoot a video about it and see if we can help you out thanks for watching